Before you begin to implement stock control in iSalon, it's worth bearing in mind that it does require a considerable time investment on your behalf. So pick a quiet time in the salon where you can be undisturbed and implement it correctly. We'd also recommend following our step-by-step -step guide to follow, as this will make sure that you set it up correctly the first time and that stock control works for you straight away. The first step towards doing this is tidying up your product database. You'll need to remove any unwanted products, either by archiving them, deleting them or making them inactive. You'll need to edit the existing records to make sure the selling prices are correct and the cost prices are also correct. And you'll need to add on any products that aren't currently on there. The next part of the process is to input your minimum and maximum stock levels. These are required to be entered on all of the product records so that iSalon will know how many to order. Next you'll have to carry out a full salon stock take. This means counting all of the products that you have on the shelves and in the storage rooms at the salon. We'd advise that you do this when the salon's closed so that products aren't continually being sold and taken out of the storage. Then once you've counted all of your stock you'll need to input these results into iSalon via the goods movement screen. And that in a nutshell is pretty much it. Apart from the fact that on an ongoing basis you'll need to remember to carry out a regular stock take, ideally once a month, and also to run any items not sold through the till through the goods movement screen.